that, but I'm back with the video for the week reacting to. Up there. We're back to two. Inverman. Hold up. Ivermectin. Ivermectin. Okay. Ivermectin. Fan favorite reading comedy. Saucy ponies all on earth. MLP. Cut by Straight to the Point Studio. Healed the tree. What the freak? That was interesting. Anyways. Sorry if you're something in the background, by the way. Sorry about that. Anyways, this is uh, so this was suggested to me by Twilight Zone Sparkle. Now, uh, this video, like I said, was suggested to me by Sparkle. He told me it's very confusing. So, had to get my Venom Zero Sugar Energy drink out. You know what I'm saying? So good. Tastes so much, so much different than the original. Sorry about moving. I'm sorry about the loud noise that y'all probably hear from me moving the camera, but it seems like it's crooked to me. No, nah, maybe not. Good to be just me. Okay, anyways, let's go, bro. He said it's really confusing, so I'm just going to hope that I can understand this. I probably won't. Ivermectin. That's loud, by the way. Hey, uh, miss? Ask oh. the human. Fluttershy turned towards him, made momentary eye contact, the vent just and caught on. her head. Oh, Literally, I start recording. One eye. She pawed at the concrete at the sidewalk and used a wingtip to adjust the paper-like surgical mask that she wore over her nose and mouth. Y yes Could you do me a favor? Um, y yes Fluttershy squeaked. She dipped her head lower, afraid of what I'm already might confused. Ask. He pointed at the tractor supply store. Any chance you could go inside and buy me some ivermectin? D is he warmer? Fluttershy asked. Why can't you buy it? They won't sell it to me. Fluttershy leaped up, planting her forehoofs on his chest. She stretched her neck, almost moving his mask-covered nose with hers. They won't help you deworm your livestock? Oh, uh, well, you see, the Why thing is, we you? have to get back to your farm right now. I know plenty of better ways to deworm livestock. She hovered at his head level, clasping his hand between her forehoofs. Come on, come on, show me your car and we'll get your adorable animals all sorted out. But- I know a wonderful organic tea that we can brew. Horses and cattle love it. The ingredients are black tea leaves, organic turmeric, and powdered breezy dung. But... <sighs> Edmund pushed the dark sunglasses further up Wait, his nose and right his mask. He pushed through the doors on the farm stores if he had done that every day of his life and strode to the medication section We might, section get, we might understand back. why. A large handwritten Maybe. sign said, Ivermectin will only be sold to horse owners. Must show pick of you and your horse. Edmund coughed twice. Cough was getting worse. He needed the ivy. Stupid FDA not letting people get the medicine that they needed. The cashier at the checkout rolled her eyes and said, That is stupid. Uh, do you have the picture of you and your horse? Edmund unlocked his phone and found the picture from the party last year. The party with all the rum and the beer kegs, and he only remembered it because of the pictures. Like, this picture. The picture of him balls deep in the light blue pegasus with a rainbow mane and tail, both of them smiling at the camera. Edmund making a thumbs up. He wished he knew who had been holding the phone to snap that picture. He really did. He slapped the camera to the plexiglass barrier and the cashier's eyes widened. She rang off the order without another word. Prove you have worms. I'm sorry, what? Janet replied. The unicorn... No, no. Toward her head, looking haughtily over the top of her sunglasses. If you wish to warmer, darling, then you must have worms. Surely an email or message from your physician? She gestured to Janet's phone. Well, but you see, your problem is your mask. Janet touched her face. My mask? It's so ugh, plain. A new style will give you a new attitude, and we all feel better when we are our best selves. Immunity is but an aspect of personality, and the mask carries no personality at all. Silk, yes, lavender silk. Okay, so so far, I think I know what's going on. I say I think, by the way, I think I do. I don't know 100%, but I think I might. <sighs> no, I don't. <laughs> I thought I did. Okay, hold up. So, if I even explain it, bro, I'm going to end up slipping up and saying something I don't want to say, so never mind. Compliment your yellow hair. And Merlot's stars in the silk to compliment your green eyes. Hey, now, that's not- The unicorn's saddlebags levitated open, and she extracted bolts of fabric right there in the parking lot of the shopping center. Quiet, darling. I'm creating. 
Hey, unicorn. Our name is Trixie, the great and powerful Trixie. Okay. The Trixie so, Stola. Uh, Trixie? Said Philip. I mean, that sounds so much like rarity. That does that sound like rarity to y'all? Okay. Need a fit. I've been Wait, how'd you give Trixie one hundred dollars, and Trixie keeps the change? Philip boggled at her, his jaw dropping open. One hundred and fifty dollars because you aren't wearing a mask and are breathing on Trixie. Her magic gently adjusted her mask. Okay, now it sounds like Trixie. Perfectly with her cape and wizard. Now it sounds like Trixie. Two Trixie. Two tubes for one fifty. Trixie keeps the change still. Fine. Philip gave her seven twenties and two fives. Trixie levitated them into her purse and head held high and humming off key, she trotted into the feed store. She trotted past the medicine. Seven twenties and two. We're gonna make sure they got it right, okay? Here we go. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. 100, that's 5, 110, no, uh, no, 120, 140, and they say two fives, so that would be 150, okay, I had to make sure they got the math right. The treats island grabbed a 15 pound bag of Purina apple and oat horse nugget I almost did get my math right, but plus tax from I'm just good like that. The fellow had given her, and then boldly strode out to the back and plays entrance across the rear parking lot and to the next street, neatly avoiding the human who would, after all, simply have hurt himself by taking horse anti-worm paste for a virus. Hey, hey, unicorn. Starlight. <laughs> Philip looked up. Uh, it's noon. My name? She said through gritted teeth. It's Starlight. Oh, uh, yeah, um. Starlight rolled her eyes and teleported away with a snap. Philip boggled at where she had been. Well, at least that one didn't cost me 150. And then she returned with the teleport and levitated a tube of ivermectin to him. Oh, hey, Philip said. Thanks. And then she disappeared again. Three tractor supply employees and a uniformed cop came running out of the store, getting hung up in the slow automatic sliding door. There, there! He's got the dewormer! Shoplifter! Uh, hey, hey, are you three sure? Little Jimmy asked. Of course it's safe, Scootaloo said. I invented it, didn't I? Sweetie Belle looked at the clipboard and adjusted her lab coat. Oh, the nah, we rewinded. What the freak just happened? Retractor supply employees and a uniformed cop came running out of the store, getting hung up in the slow automatic sliding door. There, there! He's got the dewormer! Shoplifter! Uh, Hey, hey, are you three sure? Little Jimmy asked. Okay, so I'm assuming the scene changed. With no indication of it changing, I'm assuming. Of I'm course assuming. it's safe. Scootaloo said. I invented safe. it, didn't I? Sweetie Belle looked at the clipboard and adjusted like the lab coat. All the sums are numbers. Except the ones that are emojis. Stupid spreadsheet. And after we tested it... Apple Bloom and said, after we tested it... You the there. for your grampy. Why can't I wear a life jacket? Jimmy asked, looking suspiciously at the lake. Apple Bloom heaved, using her earth pony strength to point the trebuchet towards the deeper section of the lake. Well, why can't your grampy go to the hospital? He says they're too full. Jimmy fidgeted in the trebuchet sling. Well, good thing this is guaranteed to work. Scootaloo said, yanking out the firing pin. The woman approached Stellar Flare and Sunburst nervously. See what sugar. When is Sunburst coming here? When is Stellar Flare come? Zero sugar any drinks does not hey. taste the best. Hello, I was wondering... Stellar Flare looks at... Stellar Flare, is that Sunburst's mother? Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what freaking time it is. Stellar Flare, okay. I thought so. Up and down. She was tall with slim legs that were shown off by shorty shorts and high-heeled boots. Her teats, although oddly on her chest like all human teats, poked against a tight black shirt. A paper surgical mask was pulled down below her nose, and a silver nose ring was rubbing a threadbare spot on the top edge of the mask. No. Well, hello. There's no. a tractor feed store there. The, uh, tractors eat diesel, Sunburst said. The woman closed her eyes and took a deep breath, visibly counting to ten. She opened her eyes and said, The feed store could really use some, well, horse dewormer, but they won't sell it to me. Oh, Sunburst, get in there and buy the nice young lady two tubes. But Mom, no, she's gonna use it to- Stellar Flare clamped her aura around a snout. Mm -mm. Use it to what? Stellar picked him up, levitated him through the automatic doors, and dropped him, leaving him sprawled on his chest, knocking his glasses off. As soon as the door shut behind him, Stellar looked up and down the woman's body again and said, You know, my son's single. Hey, the human said, stepping in front of Gilda and holding up a hand in a stop gesture. 
She bowled him right over, her muscular bulk knocking him face first into a wall. Okay, this is confusing, but I think I understand it. A lot of people want this Iver Ivermectin. Is that actual disease curing thing? Like dewormer thing? I don't know if it is or not. It could be just for the fanfic, probably. But then again, I have no idea. It sounds like a real life thing. Very complicated word. Obviously, it's real life, obviously. <laughs> uh, but, okay, so people want this ivermectin. I don't know what that girl's gonna do with it. Sunburst uh, Stun didn't finish his statement. Dweeb, y'all want me don't want to, to know. what? Applejack said, pushing her hat back on her head and adjusting when her When did Applejack get in here? Get me as many tubes of ivermectin as they'll sell you. Why didn't you just get the vaccine? There ain't been a pony hospitalized in 10 months on account that we all lined up and got our shots. What, what do I look like? Asked the man. A sheep? And when the shopping center security guards arrived, AJ had him in a headlock, punching him in the head with a forehoof like an equine Nolan Ryan. And each time she said a word, she punched him. Call me a sheep one more time! Lightning dust reclined on the stack of ivermectin crates, smiled saucily, and flipped her tail just so to ever so barely cover her vulva. The camera's self-timer beeped and then the flash fired. She blinked and stood, carried the camera to her computer, and checked the picture. What? Nine teeth times the charm. It was perfect. The softbox flashes gave her freshly shampooed and conditioned coats a wonderfully diffused glow. And the fast 1.2 lens had been focused precisely on her eyes with Sounds the rest like of her body, I would write. and the $10,000 worth of Hursty Worm faded off place. into a soft bokeh. She edited it in the Lightroom to enhance the color in her eyes and softly darken the edges of the frame. She Who uploaded wrote the picture to Facebook and made the same post in a half dozen of the secret groups no about the drug this. that shall not be okay. named, lest Facebook notice the group and shut it down. Got 200 cases of eye, sent a PM, $500 per case plus $1 per mile, round trip, I'm in Boone, North Carolina. For an extra five hundred dollars, you can find out what we're talking about. No bro. Bitcoin. That's for... where I am. Within fifty seconds. I'm Trip. I'm in Boone, North Carolina. For an extra five hundred dollars, you can find out what my tail was covering. Bitcoin. Within yeah. fifty seconds, the first Yay! transfer of Bitcoin came in. I'm good. Welcome, welcome. Pinky shot out at her webcam. Welcome to another YouTube edition of okay. Equestrian Baking for Humans. Twelve minutes into the report. She adjusted her chef's toque and moved Gummy out of the shot. I remember that. Do you know what's really sucky? Dewormer medication. When my little cheese got worms, he just wouldn't take his medicine. So I found out how to make it yummy yummy on a little tummy. She leaned into the camera and whispered conspiratorially. Just kidding. Back to her normal shouting. It tastes awful no matter what. So today, we're going to be making ghost pepper chocolate coconut chunk cupcakes to cover up the taste. Given what the medicine does... Okay, first of all, if y'all know this about me, I love hot stuff. I love ghost pepper. Sort of. I mean, hey, ghost pepper cheese sprinkled into some, uh, some spaghetti. Oh, that's good, bro. There's barely, there's heat to it if you put enough, but there's barely any heat to it. But you still get the smokiness flavor of the ghost pepper cheese. It's smoked ghost pepper cheese, by the way. Uh, my, uh, unc not uncles. My grandmother's husband, uh... He's not my grandfather. Not my bi- I guess you can call him my grandfather. He's not biologic my grandfather, but you know, his co-worker makes the cheese. That's how he gets it. It's hot. It's good, but it's hot. You and that inside some anyway. spaghetti. The pepper won't make a difference. Ooh. As it turns out- That's good. Said the lavender alicorn. I happen to be the principal scientist on a double-blind placebo-controlled study of the effectiveness of ivermectin as a SARS-CoV-2 prophylactic. I'm sorry, what? I'm yeah, what? Oh, oh. Uh, can you test it on me? She shook her head. No, I'm sorry. You're clearly not smart enough to give informed consent. <laughs> I honestly cannot tell what happened. All I know is that someone's someone, and they need medicine for it, but they... I could be a right now. I'm just being frank with you. Either way, it was still entertaining You're regardless. You're not, bro. Anywho, if let's you get are, on to our immortal too. donators. Top donators, Peter. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, not end the recording. Woo! Did it end? No, it did not. Good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is stop being an idiot. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Stop being an idiot. <sighs> stop. Come on. I'm going to stop being... I'm gonna stop being an idiot. Know what I mean? 
Contour, I knew that, bro. I knew that. You see what I mean? I know stuff. I knew that, bro. I knew that. Counts as coloratura. I knew that. Or rah rah, you know? I, I knew that. I knew that, bro. What y'all talking about? I knew that. I knew that, bro. See? I know stuff, bro. I know stuff, bro. Get at me, bro. I knew that. How could I forget something like that, bro? That's one of my favorite episodes. I don't have ever told y'all this at all. But my favorite MLP episode is actually You're My Head. Not, nope. Ooh, That's not the name of it. That's my favorite song in the show. It's, uh, Well Freak. The Perfect Pair. That's my favorite uh, episode. You're My Head Like a Catchy Song. It's my favorite song. I want to react to that song for this channel. I've already listened to it so many times, but I just want to react to it and try to go over my initial reaction of it. Oh, man, it's such a good song, bro. It really is. It really, 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 really is. Anyways, yeah, since I knew her name, all obviously, I'm going to end this video here. And so, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment below. And as always, peace out.